when we talk about national income, it is as good as maintaining a scorecard, a big scorecard for your economy. It's almost on the same terms like you take an account of your uh, pocket allowance, but it's on a massive scale. So national income is the total value of all final goods and services produced by an economy during a given period of time. Technically, this is one financial year. The first concept that we will consider here is GDP or gross domestic product. You can consider it like as a super calculator that will add up all the money that is made up within the domestic territory of an economy. So it is irrespective of who is the owner of a given asset as far as the asset is within the domestic economy and it is producing goods and services, it will get accounted for GDP or gross domestic product. Say for example, when you take up a part-time job and earn cash, that becomes a part of GDP. Likewise, there are companies which produce goods and sell goods within the economy. Say for example, Nike, if they are producing goods within your country, that also becomes a component of your GDP. Say for example, when you take up a part-time job and earn cash, it gets added up to the gross domestic product. Likewise, uh, for example, say Adidas. So when they produce shoes and sell shoes within your country, that also becomes a component and gets added up in the gross domestic product of your economy. Just like everything doesn't last forever, even your favorite sneakers might get worn out because of the usage. Similarly, the assets within the economy like uh, roads, the highways, the bridges, the buildings, they all need some kind of repair and maintenance work. So when we deduct the cost of this repair and maintenance from the GDP, we arrive at a more accurate uh, account of the economic activity and this figure is called as the net domestic product or NDP. Have you ever heard that someone's gone out of the country to work and now they are sending money back home? Well, that money that is sent back home gets added up to something called as the GNP or gross national product. Now, GNP is the component that will include money earned not only within the economy, but also outside the economy. So if we have a company that is registered in your country, but has a branch in another country as well, so the money that it is earning in that other country would also become a component of GNP, Gross National Product. Now, Gross National Product is also called as Gross National Income on a global level. So do you remember the way we adjusted GDP for NDP? By subtracting the expenses that we incurred on cost of repairs and maintenance. Similarly, we adjust the gross national product by adjusting these uh, costs for repairs and maintenance. The figure thus arrived is called as net national product. So this is the major component which will tell you, which will give you the exact figure or exact measure of how well the people of the country truly are. Are they really living a very good life? Are they really happy? And are they really uh, getting everything that they need? That's NNP. Now let's take a look at the per capita income. So per capita income in simple terms means income per head. How do we calculate it? It's absolutely simple. The entire money made by the country divided by the total number of people living in that country will give you your PCI or per capita income. It's a more accurate figure to find out if the standard of living of people is actually getting better off or worse off. So PCI or per capita income technically would tell you how much an average person is earning in a given economy. So prices in the economy also tend to rise and this scenario is termed as inflation. Now it's a situation that will make the GDP of a country look more than what it actually is. So to get the GDP back at its accurate figure, we have something called as a real GDP. What we do here is we tend to kind of compare the prices of goods and services in the current year to the last year. When we do that, we are able to kind of get the estimate of what is the rise in the price that each commodity or service in the market has recorded. 
So these are the concepts that we need to keep in our minds when we are studying national income. One more thing, national income is just not about statistics and numerical information. It's basically a report card of the entire country and it will tell us how well the country is doing, how well the country is growing and how well the country is developing. Well, that's about it for today in this video. If you do like my videos, please do like and subscribe to my channel. And if you feel my videos are going to help somebody else, please don't hesitate and share my videos. I'll see you in another video. Bye now. Take care.